Today, we're going to talk through my nurture strategy for what to do after these leads come to my orbit. Okay, of course, and I'm daily. On a daily basis, these people are going to get reminded that I exist through my Instagram stories, which with the Five Pillars Nation, we are doing the challenge through the end of this year of three stories a day, three posts a week, which is a lovely way to stay top of mind, especially because my profile itself says Shelby Johnson with the pin Lexington, Kentucky realtor. So even if I've never spoken to these people who I met at CrossFit or whatever about real estate, every time I ping pop up, they are reminded minded subconsciously that I am your real estate homie, right? Welcome to the Agent Goldmine, the only podcast in the world specifically for real estate agents who are stuck at five transactions a year to help them get to 20 plus. Your hosts, Ali Garced and Shelby Johnson, two EXP icon agents, each do over 40 transactions a year and interview others who are crushing it. In this podcast, you'll receive the knowledge to help you scale your business using systems and processes with our interviews and monologues twice a week. If you want to be a part of our community, reach out. Welcome to the show. Okay, gold miners. Last time we talked about lead generation in a brand new city. I went through step by step what I am going to do here in Lexington to go from knowing no one to bringing leads into my orbit, right? The whole intent was to generate the new attention, the eyeballs, get them to look at me. And then this week, what we are doing is we're talking about lead nurture. So as you guys probably know, just because you get attention, just because people are like, oh, Allie exists. I saw one YouTube you know, video about her talking to sellers. That does not mean that they're ready to either buy, sell, or sign with you, you know? So it's a lot of this is about nurturing them over time. So that way, when they are ready, they only think of you. They're like, Allie is the girl. She's, when I think real estate, I think Allie Garced. So that is the goal, right? So this week, lead nurture, I am only going to talk about things outside of the traditional check-ins, like calls and texts, check-ins, mostly just because I have not fleshed out my own system of how, like the frequency I want to do with this. I think, Ali, you have a pretty good fleshed out system for that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with yes. <laughs> We're going to go with, I have my shit together. <laughs> It's okay. Everything, everything could always improve. Like it, that's, always improve. that's so yeah. true. But I think, and I do think we talked about it a while ago, but maybe that's, maybe that's what we do after this, where we'll go through all of my nurture stuff. And if you guys want, let us know if you want also the Allie's version of the calls, the texts, the frequency in which to follow up over time and the reasons for the outreach. So yeah, today we're going to talk through my nurture strategy for what to do after these leads come to my orbit. Okay, of course, and I'm daily. On a daily basis, these people are going to get reminded that I exist through my Instagram stories, which with the Five Pillars Nation, we are doing the challenge through the end of this year of three stories a day, three posts a week, which is a lovely way to stay top of mind, especially because my profile itself says Shelby Johnson with the pin Lexington, Kentucky realtor. So even if I've never spoken to these people who I met at CrossFit or whatever about real estate, every time I ping pop up, they are reminded minded subconsciously that I am your real estate homie, right? Okay. So daily, we have the Instagram stories. We have CrossFit, which I'm going to in-person reminder that I exist. And then weekly, we have our Instagram posts, which my focus has been on our Five Pillars team Instagram page and not posting on my own because I'm feeling very inspired and excited about working on the team page, which Allie and I have talked about this a couple episodes episodes ago about whether or not to start a new profile or whether to build from scratch. And so make sure you go back and listen to the social media one we did a couple because it does depend on you and your goals. And for me, in my situation, it made sense to start a team page from the ground up in a new city. And it's really funny because, you know, all of these agents follow me now from both of us from like the podcast and stuff like that. And so I'll post something about the team and then all these motherfucking agents <laughs> go and follow it and no shit. As soon as they follow, I'm removing them. I'm like, you're not following this page because you're not in, in Lexington. So that's funny. It's, it is. So, okay. You're, are you removing them yeah. because of the algorithm? Does that, does that change? Because for- I, exactly. Because I don't want the algorithm to be confused about who my target is. And so if I'm letting all these agents from all over the country follow me, and they're the ones who are engaging with my contact, 
the algorithm will not realize that the only people I want are in Lexington at all, period. And so I am just removing that. And even when I share something, like you probably saw it yesterday, I shared something like, hey, Kentucky, join the party. If you're in Kentucky, you know, follow this. P.S. If you're not from Kentucky, please don't follow. <laughs> and I still like every time someone follows it on, I'm like, remove, remove. Fuck you. <laughs> I yeah. didn't realize that the Instagram algorithm was that was very, very similar to YouTube then. To YouTube. YouTube. Well, it hasn't always been, but it has been more and more SEO based. And just in general, I mean, if you think about it, granted, I don't know, I don't work at Instagram, so I don't know this for a fact fact, but like logically, you know, the algorithm is constantly testing, you know, who's con- who's inter- interacting with your content. And then based on that, they always have that shit profiles that you might like or content you might like. They're constantly like serving things that are related to that. So if you, if this is my thought, if I allow people outside of my target to follow me and when the page is so new, I only have 40 fucking, or I think 50 now, then when the algorithm is really trying to figure out like with my 10 posts, who are you? What do you want? I really feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot if I'm allowing people other than my target to follow. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And okay. So with the nurture on the socials, just real quick, cause I spent the weekend flushing this out further. Cause I've been in test mode, which Ali, I'm sure, you know, like I'm just at this point, I'm trying to figure out what consistent content I want to post and how I want to go about doing that. Because I think Ali, your process is Sundays, right? Is that, tell me about your planning process for socials. I, yes, it is Sundays. So I have a different process between YouTube, longer form videos and short form content. Majority of my focus and effort and everything else is on long form content because that's just done so well for me. You do it one time. You don't have to think about, you know, posting and then posting again, six hours later to get in front of people. So, so yeah, on Sundays, I think about what videos I want to be recording that week. What do I feel in the mood for, honestly? And I look at my Trello. Trello is where I hold everything. So I have a couple of different boards and columns just for the different channels. So over time, whenever I have an idea, like at any time, whether it's at midnight or, you know, noon, whatever it is, I throw it in the Trello just as like a brain dump, you know, dog parks in St. Louis, (laughs) something like that. Like just, I just brain dump as in Trello. And then over time on Sundays, I look at all the titles or where I was going to go with the video. And I, I I just fill in the gaps. I, sometimes I record on Sundays too. If I'm in the mood, I I'm actually not one of the batchers right now, just because sometimes, you know, I, I have it time blocked for me to record on Saturdays, but I don't always fucking feel like it. And if I don't feel like it, I'm not going to force myself because then it's even worse than, than not recording at all. I think yeah, it comes through for sure. Yeah. Definitely. So that's what I do on Sundays. It's kind of, I plan out what am I, what do I feel like talking about? Or is there any crazy current event that I want to make sure that I get in this week? Dude, totally. Okay. Love it. That is also similar to my process now for socials, but I, and I agree, my focus will be long form when I get there. If you listen to the last video that I recorded, that is not on track to even start until December. So right now I'm just trying to really flesh out my system for my three posts a week and get ahead. I have been scrambling with this five pillars fucking challenge. Like the past two weeks, if you look at my posts, I posted all three on Sunday. (laughs) I didn't do shit during the week. And I was like, Oh my God, I will not fail. I will not do these fucking burpees. And so I post three on Sunday. It's been horrible. But this upcoming week, I it's Monday and I already posted one. I'm feeling like, Oh, finally on a little ahead. It is your birthday. So you are just on track, baby girl. That's right. That's right. Thanks. Yeah. So with the hyperlocal content, just one more note on that, because this is nurture, right? This is staying top of mind. So I decided after thinking through all of the different strategies when creating a brand new page, I decided on the hyper-local content because it is so top of funnel. Because, And the reason why is so people only want to buy or sell every few years, right? And so I wanted to do something that not only I wanted to do, like I love, which is I enjoy going out and like finding cool things about the city and sharing the, oh, did you know, check out this secret, whatever. But also I wanted content that people wanted to pay attention to regardless of where they were in the buyer and seller journey. Super shareable to really, the idea is to get it out to as many people as possible. And then from there, of course, it says, 
we are a real estate team in the bio and in like on our pinned pages. And eventually I'll do some calls to action and I'll share on stories about closing success and all of that stuff. But I wanted the content itself to be hyper relevant to as many people as possible. Yeah. So that is the that is social media to stay top of mind. And then of course, I'm going to have those YouTube videos, which will also be more nurture over time. But now let's get into automated things. Cause I said, I wasn't going to talk about the texts and the calls. So monthly, what I am doing is I am setting up Lolo, which have we talked about Lolo before on this channel, Allie? <laughs> Sometimes I get confused. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Briefly. Yes. <laughs> But let's go over it again because it's been like at least 50 episodes. Oh, okay. Okay, Okay, perfect. Okay, so Lolo is Love Local. I think that's what it stands for. But it's literally just L-O-L-O dot com or Google Lolo or join Lolo, I think it might be. Anyway, so what it is, is you can select the amount of people you want. Like I minimum is 25 people per month to get an automated text from Lolo that has a gift, has a little goodie. So what it is, is let's just pretend Allie lives in Lexington and I have a Lolo account. I'm an agent and I want to stay top of mind for Allie. So I set her up on Lolo. So once, once a month, she'll get a text from Lolo that's branded from Shelby that says, Hey, Allie, here's a gift from Shelby. Get your two free cookies at Olive's Bakery cheers, whatever. And so now Allie's, Oh my God, Shelby just sent me two fucking free cookies. This is so exciting. And then she hypothetically goes, gets her free cookies, posts about it, shares a little, Oh, thanks Shelby, so much. And gets that out to the world and more people. But the way Lolo works, cause it's only a dollar and some change per person is that Lolo, the company goes to a city and searches small businesses and contacts each one of them and says, Hey, would you like to give a goodie, a little freebie giveaway in exchange for getting your brand and company out to potentially hundreds, whatever, thousands of more people. And the the business is fuck. Yeah. I'll give away two free cookies if I can get in front of a, a thousand more people. And so then Lolo sets up their calendar on these small business free giveaways once a month. And then the real estate agent can go and upload their list of alleys and whoever, and then set it on autopilot. So every single month, Ally gets reminded in a cute, non-salesy, adorable fucking way. The small business wins, Ally wins, Shelby wins, Lolo wins. Everyone's a winner. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, it does. It does make sense. Okay. And the the whole intent of that is I was thinking of things that I wanted to be automated that didn't feel automated in a gross way. How many things can we layer on to nurture people so that you stay top of mind in a way where it's incredibly positive? Because some people are top of mind in a fucking negative way. And you don't want to be that either where it's like, oh my God, this person is so annoying and so salesy and not authentic. And they don't care about me. They only care about the transaction. And you know, you don't want to be that either. Yeah. When we had, when I think it was when we went to Tom Ferry last year, summit last year, when that's where we first heard of Lolo. And cause we were talking to the person at the, at the stand there. Oh yeah. 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 So he, I remember he, he put, I don't know if he put your phone number in there. He put mine in there. And to this day, I'm still getting text messages and I wish that I could use them, but we don't live there. <laughs> dude, so, I texted yeah. him and I said, Hey dude, I moved to Lexington. Can you update my city? And he did. Oh shit. Okay. Girl, gotta <laughs> you got to get on it. Matthew, numbers, I've long lost it. No worries. I will send it to you right now because this actually reminded me that I did not tell him I, I changed my number. So now I'm going to miss out on my gifts if I don't text him. You know what I'm That's saying? So so. Funny. Also, that is so shameless. I moved. <laughs> I want my gifts here. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. But so the thing is in exchange for my shamelessness, he's probably going to get more business because I keep telling motherfuckers about it because it's so great. Yeah. I need to, oh, there it is. But I can't do it right now because we're in the middle of the show. Let me just, <laughs> let me just write this down. I'll share it with you afterwards, okay? Matthew Simpson. Okay, moving right along. So that's Lolo for those beautiful gifts once a month automated. I can set it and I can forget it. And every time I meet someone who I'm like, oh my God, I want to give them a gift once a month. All I do is just send it to Cheska, my VA. She'll update the list and then, it will just keep happening, which is amazing. That's what we want, right? The next thing is HomeBot. Wait, sorry. Oh, yeah. Before sorry. before we go on, time 
the f- or frequency. Is it is it just Monthly. one gift a month? Correct. One gift a month. Okay. And what's it, it's 25 people minimum? 25 people per month minimum, which comes out to $43.75. Got it. Per the minimum. I do think that as you add more contacts, it becomes a little cheaper, but still it's very inexpensive. If you think about client giant, um, yes. where you spend, what is it? A hundred dollars per singular person. They get four gifts a month. Yep. And they're, they're gifts that like, I mean, client giant is cool, but like in your case, Allie, you sign people up and it's so not your personality that like when people got like the fucking charcuterie set or whatever, they're like, this is weird. This does not yeah, feel like, like it's from Allie. Allie? <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I want to tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Right. Whereas I think Lolo, not only is it less expensive, you can send it to way more people. And for me, it's just as cute. And I love the idea of seeing new small businesses. Like it helps people figure out what's out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay. The other automated monthly thing is for anyone who's a homeowner, whether that be someone currently who owns a home that I know that they're homeowner and anyone who I help buy or sell and buy, they're going to get set up on HomeBot, which I know Allie in Arizona for sure, HomeBot is not accurate, but, and I have no idea if it's accurate (laughs) or not here in Lexington. I'm still going to fucking do it because there's, I talked to the people at the booth at Tom Ferry and they're like, you can, you can do adjustments. That can be another reason to talk to someone like you can put in there, Hey, does this look off to you? And then it's a conversation where you can go in and play with the adjustments and whatever. Also they gave at Tom Ferry, they gave I have a couple coupons for three months. So I'm going to try it. It's $25 a month for up to 500 contacts with a one-time startup fee of $50. Or in your case, Allie, right? You split split with a lender or someone. So who- I actually don't use HomeBot because right. it's just so inaccurate. But also yeah. I never even tried to see if I could make it more accurate. So could have done that. But some lenders, like my preferred lender has spots available. So it would have just been given. So definitely reach out to a lender, see if they have any spots available. Totally. If you're looking to change brokerages this year so you can increase your business and you want to join us at eXp Realty and would like either myself, Ali Garced, or Shelby Johnson to personally sponsor you in, so that way you have access to two icon agents, text the word JOIN to either my number, 914-318-4918, or Shelby's number, 859-267-3849. If I sponsor you and you have access to the both of us and everything that's Five Pillars Nation, we have the checklist, the systems, the processes to help you scale your business. And don't take our word for it. We've had agents switch brokerages to join us that were stuck making $300,000 GCI and they join us so they can scale. So text the word join to those numbers and we'll take the next steps. Yes. Anything to cut these costs. Okay. Then those are two automated things monthly in addition to my other nurture of going to meetups monthly. I did not want to start my own meetup. (laughs) I don't want to do it. I don't want the responsibility because I want to pick and choose when I go and when I don't. But as of now, I am planning on going. Like I found the ones that excite me and I'm going to go to, I have a list of four that I'm going to every single month just to get out there. It's another story to you know, share. It's another connection. You could take a selfie, you know, put it on your story, tag them. They share it with their friends. It's just another way to expand your reach and stay top of mind. Right. Okay. So those are monthly. Now we move to quarterly, which is the reminder media magazine. That is what I'm doing. This is another set and forget it type of thing where you upload a list of people and it just happens. So four times a year, my list of people who I believe are my core advocates. And what I mean by that is, so there's sphere of influence, but then there's core advocates. And by core of that advocates, I mean, who are the people that when they're not around you and real estate comes up, are they like, oh my God, Allie, you have to talk to Allie. She's amazing. These are the people who are advocating for you and really pushing your name, who really believe in you. And I want to continue to treat those people. So that is my list of, so with reminder media, you get 50 magazines per, I forgot to update the quote on this per distribution. And I, again, I'm doing it quarterly. You can do it monthly, whatever you want, but it equated out for me a thousand dollars a year. So $250 per 50 magazines that are mailed out to your core advocates. And if you have a list 
and of core advocates that is less than 50, they will mail you the extras. So that way you can bring them on listing appointments or you can put them, you know, in the nice restaurant, you know, stand so people can grab magazines. People in Lexington do that a lot, actually. There's like a bunch of like local little magazines that people like put and people grab. So that's just what you can do if, but, oh, and one more thing on Reminder Magazine is that you can choose your type of magazine, which by the way, this is like high quality print. Oh, I should probably <laughs> mention this. Most times when you pay for a page in a magazine, you are literally, it's someone else's magazine. There's a bunch of other vendors in there who are also paying for spots. The difference with this is that you are the only vendor in the whole fucking magazine. It is your face on the front page and it's high quality print. And you can choose to put, this is smart, that if you want to sell spaces to vendors, like to your lender or to your painter or whatever, you can sell out like little cutouts within the page and then essentially get the cost for free. So if you charge your lender, if you charge your painter, you know, $175 each, is that good math? I don't know. Then essentially it's free for you. Does that make sense? Nice. That's cool. And that's, that's the perfect way for you to even strengthen your relationships with the vendor partners, whether it's a moving company, it doesn't have to be a lender. Like it could be anything. Yeah. Like you said, a painter, that's cool. That's awesome. Or you could even highlight a past client too. be like, Hey, this is a story and do an interview, but in text. Oh, that's awesome. I like that a lot. I do too. I think, and the, the cool thing too, is that because it's high quality, that it's the kind of thing that people don't throw away. They're going to sit it on their co- coffee table or they're going to sit it in their entryway table for, you know, a couple months until your next one comes. And what I started mentioning, and I don't think I finished, is that you can choose the type of magazine. So if you want American lifestyle, if you want one with just beautiful homes, and it's also regional. So like Reminder Media is the one who does the entire writing, the design and everything. Um, And they only allow so many per area. So they're not the same magazine going out to, (laughs) you know, the same people. But there's also one for... Mike and I were talking about this. Michael Glasby, he's a, in Five Pillars, obviously. He, whatever. They have one for business. They have a business-facing one. So because he, his target audience is business owners. So they have like an entrepreneur style one. So it's pretty cool that you can choose your type of magazine to be sent out. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So that's quarterly. And then biannually, this is my next nurture, is we're going to do two events a year. And we are going to do one on Memorial Day and one on Veterans Day because we are leaning into the military because it's one of the things that makes us different. And in the Memorial Day one, we're going to do like very Caitlin Blosser style where we have invite people to our house and have them just pop by and pick up an American flag if they want one, you know, to put outside their house, like the little pole and the flag. I looked it up on Amazon at $20 for per flag. And what Caitlin Blosser does, guys, if you haven't listened to her episode, you should go back and listen to Caitlin's because she is who I'm stealing this idea from. But basically there's like a RSVP genius or something like that, where you like text it out and they have to RSVP if they want one. So you know how many to buy. And then the people come by your house. So you don't have to drive around to all these different things. And you can have like charcuterie out if you want, which I probably will just because I fucking love charcuterie. And then <laughs> they can stop by and hang out if they want, grab their flag and leave if they don't want to be chatty. And then it's like a very constricted time frame because I don't want people to be there forever. And I also don't want to go to them. So I'm trying to make it how I want to do it as much as possible. But that's the Memorial Day event. And then the one for Veterans Day is I still have to convince Drake to do this, but this is what I want to do. And it's not going to be this year. This would be next year at a minimum, but I want to do a day at the range with a sniper <laughs> because Drake is a sm- sniper and he... Uh, in the Marines. And so I think it would be a cool thing to raise awareness and donations for TAPS, which is our like partner organization. Yeah. And those two things aren't super fleshed out because it's for next year at a minimum, the earliest is Memorial Day. So I still have time to figure all those out. But the intent is to nurture, right? That's what we're talking about, which is a way to stay top of mind, a reason for you to reach out, a reason for people to be like, oh my God, they're doing something cool in the, did you hear? Oh, this is so nice. Take a picture, share it on their social media, blah, 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 blah. You get it? Yep. Yep. And for those that have not listened to Caitlin's episode, I looked it up. It is episode 80. Go back to episode 80. She, co- she covers everything related to gifts and the, the feel good of seeing people in person 
And the biggest difference of what I think she does is she invites people over to her house. And as soon as people walk through her door, they're friends. It, it changes that relationship. And so she's really, really good at that. Reach out to her and give her a follow too. Caitlin yes. Blosser. Totally. She's a fucking badass. Okay. Moving on. So those are, I, would, I just went through daily, weekly, monthly, biannual. And now my last little section is miscellaneous. And miscellaneous number one is birthdays, which is so, it is my birthday today, but it's that's big. Birthday. I flushed this out. Thank you so much. <laughs> I flushed this out this weekend and I'm so excited because this is from Mary Harmon Young, which we interviewed her on here too. Yeah, we did. So whatever episode that is, Ali's probably going to look it up when I keep I'll talking. I'll look it up. Yeah. <laughs> this is stolen from her because I thought this was so cute because normally, you know, you can get happy birthday text or an automated email. Those are like the automated email is the lowest form of this. If I get an automated fucking email that looks like it's from MailChimp or whatever, and it's not personalized, I don't care. I get those from vendors or whoever. I'm like, that's not cool. That's not personalized. If I just get a text, that's cooler, especially because those are personalized for sure. If I get a video message like Ali probably does, that's like really, really cool. I love that. And so the intent of this is I want to do, oh, and then of course there's cards. So if there's like a happy birthday card where you just write happy birthday, Ali, that's it. That's nice, but it's like kind of a lower form. So I was like, how do I make this stand out, fun, not break the bank and make people talk about it? Because I think that's becoming a theme, which I didn't even realize until saying this out loud to you, Ali and Oliver listener friends, is that I want the things that I do to be brag worthy, to be like, did you hear? Oh my God, this is so cool. This is different. And so with these birthday boxes that I'm totally ripping off from Mary Harmon Young is episode 107. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And I got, I ordered all of these things off Amazon and I'm giving all of the materials to the 13 year old who lives down the street, who's going to be the one who packaged them and mails them out using pirate shipping, which is the huge discount shipping service. You guys should look it up pirate service or pirate shipping. But anyway, so in the little birthday box, there are just these simple little white boxes, which I have the hyperlinks to all of this. Ask me for it, or I can upload it. I can send it to our editor and she can have it uploaded. But there are these little white boxes that you put together. Very like simple. It ordered, all of these are bulk ordered in Amazon too. So I spent $110 on all of these supplies. It'll be at least 50 boxes, birthday boxes. So it's the white boxes. And then it's the little Debbie birthday cake cakes, like individually packaged, which kind of hurts my soul because I am on the crunchy train and these are like fucking really not good for you. <laughs> but they're cute. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Little birthday cakes. Then it's a singular candle. It's a singular balloon. It's a singular little party blower thing. You know, I just had to act it out for you. You're welcome, Allie. <laughs> I think I just saw your spit. <laughs> it's on. Let me just wipe it off the screen. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> um, and it has crinkle paper in there. You know, the makes it look cute. And then a little thing of matches. So that is the birthday box. And then it's going to have the 13 year old is going to write a handwritten message, you know, happy birthday name. Hope you have the most magical year yet. Love Shelby and Drake, five pillars team. If I want her to personalize it, I will just let her know. Otherwise that is it. But also we are also going to send a little video message depending on the closeness of the person. But so that way we have the video like, oh my God, but also this is so cute. Oh my God, what is this? I get to put together and like light the little, it's a magical fucking experience, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. Yes. It's an experience. And that's what other people don't give. They get, they give the hat, the birthday card, they open it up. Awesome. And then that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like literally that's if cool. I got this, I would be thrilled. I would be like, this is the cutest fucking thing of my life. I would tell at least five people. You can't believe it. Can't believe it's someone, you know what I mean? So. so how are you going to decide who gets this and who doesn't? That is a great question. As of now, well, first of all, I don't have everyone bir everyone's birthdays. <laughs> so that is definitely a factor. And other than that, I, I feel like I'm going to pretty much send it to everyone who I have a meaningful conversation with and then also get their birthdays, which I, this is, uh, this is like next 
next phase is I have been going through all of the contacts in my phone. Did I tell you this already? No. I've been going through all my contacts because I have so many in there that are like, you know, hinge, hot, or roofer, like cute douchebag, <laughs> or oh. <laughs> these are the contacts in my phone. It's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> now that I've gotten a new phone, I'm like going through all of them. I'm deleting contacts. I'm renaming so that they're appropriate. And then what I'm going to do, hopefully this upcoming weekend on Saturday is when I want to do this, is go through and literally text everyone on my phone and be like, Hey, this is Shelby. I got a new number. Cause I did, I got a new number. They don't have it. And so I can be like, Hey, I got a new number. I just want to know, like, where are you these days? Give me an update. Cause I have so many people in the army or, you know, people from that blast from the past that it's just a great way for <laughs> me to be like, I got a new phone number. I'm in a new fucking city. Tell me about your life. And then they'll be like, what are you doing these days? And I'll be like, Oh, awesome. And depending on how the conversation goes, that's also when I'm going to be like, Dude, also, I am like going through all my contacts. What's your email these days? What's your address? What's your, what's your birthday? So that is my plan for capturing as much. If the conversation doesn't go well, or if I'm like, this is awkward or weird, like I don't know how much information I'll push for. At a minimum, I'm texting everyone being like, hey, what are you up to? But we'll see. But ideally, by the end of that, I will have a shit ton of birthdays, a shit ton of mailing addresses, emails, all the things that are missing from my like, you know, brunette hot hinge crossfitter, you know, code names for these fucking randos on my phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> you know, that's going to take talk a long time. Oh my God. Allie, all of this, it, all of it takes so long, you know that, but I'm so excited because it feels really fresh and really clean to go through oh, everything and just get it. It's going to be so good. Uh. Yeah. So those are the birthday boxes. And then I also have, I'm building out the templates. I have some done, but not all of them for, I have a whole box of cards with envelopes and return labels that I'm giving to the 13 year old down the street, along with, I've already created a little duty description for her. I'm calling her job, the Care Bear role, which I stole from Tom Ferry. Some speaker talked about the Care Bear is like the person who like does the cutesy things that make people feel like really cared about. So the 13 year old is my care bear and she has a little box of all the cards and all the materials that she needs. And I have made her duty description. I've also given her templates of <clears throat> my different I love how scenarios. I, I have to interrupt. I love how what? I'm reading, I'm reading the notes right now and it's keep it at all. Keep it at Alana's house. <laughs> it's not her mom's house. It's the 13 year old's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's so yeah. Cute. Mom's moving out actually. <laughs> Yeah. But so the, the cards that she'll have is she'll have a bunch of scenarios for thank you cards, which I am trying to be way better. I've never been a card girl because I hate the time it takes to write. It's just such a pain in my soul. But now that I don't have to write it, I'm like, oh my God, I could send a million cards. This is great. So there's a ton of different scenarios for thank you cards. So those, there's going to be a card for any referral I get from a non-agent, any referral I get from an agent, you know, post listing appointment, post buyer's appointment, closing, and then just like miscellaneous, hey, you know, you hosted this event last week. I just want to let you know that your efforts were noticed. I know how hard it is to run an event. Thank you for bringing people together. You're awesome. Love, Shelby. You know, just those little extra things as I'm trying to finally be <laughs> the good, caring person that is not a natural thing for me to write a card about. Does that make sense? If you're looking to change brokerages this year so you can increase your business and you want to join us at eXp Realty and would like either myself, Ali Garced, or Shelby Johnson to personally sponsor you in, so that way you have access to two icon agents, text the word JOIN to either my number, 914-318-4918, or Shelby's number, 859-267-3849. If I sponsor you and you have access to the both of us and everything that's Five Pillars Nation, we have the checklist, the systems, the processes to help you scale your business. And don't take our word for it. We've had agents switch brokerages to join us that were stuck making $300,000 GCI and they join us so they can scale. So text the word join to those numbers and we'll take the next steps. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I'm like <laughs> terrible at writing. <laughs> You're talking to the right person about that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I have to give an agent a shout out. This agent does such a good job on saying thank you. And especially like when he gets a, a referral and I've sent him a ton of referrals. <laughs> so Joe Bennett is out of Tampa, Florida. And whenever I send him a referral, 
first of all, he brings them to the closing table. He's a good agent. He immediately sends a video text and says, hey, like, this is me. Let's let's schedule a time to call. He always ends up bringing them to close. But then also he has, and I've seen him switch and upgrade his thank you box, you know, for, for inbound referrals. And so now he provides an, a box with the paper confetti type stuff. So it's like cutesy and he used to mindful (laughs) mindful (laughs) (laughs) look at shelby with the trends oh my god i know (laughs) and one in a row (laughs) he used to he used to send crumble cookies but now he's upgraded now he has his own branded cookies so uh, two big ass cookies with a vanilla type thing It's, it's a hard cookie so it's not like a soft cookie um and then so therefore in the vanilla part it's his logo it's his name on there along with like multiple gift cards. It's so cute. And I don't do that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. It just makes you feel good. Like you get it, you know, like a month later, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot that I even, you know, I didn't expect the thank you, but it's so extra that it makes oh. me want to refer to Joe Bennett in Tampa, Florida, even more. Oh my God. That is so good. Here I was being like, so proud that I'm sending out a fucking card. <laughs> I did not mean to crush you. Sorry. You just, you (laughs) rained all over my fucking birthday parade. That's what you did. Okay, that's good. You know, there's always the upgrade that you got to do. You keep upgrading your sis once a year. It's what does Joe Bennett do? Okay, I'll do some of that. What does Caitlin Blosser do? Mary Harmon Young. And then, you know, you'll be good to go. So (laughs) cards. Yes. Birthday we talked about. Home anniversary. I don't have figured out what I want to do for that. And then the check-in rotation. This is more miscellaneous is and I got this from you Allie like when you are checking in this literally direct quote from notes I took on yours where it remind them of a story or a win we had together I thought that was so fucking good instead of just you know and that can even work with the home anniversary like if you were calling or if you were um texting or whatever dude do you remember it was literally this time last year that we got you fucking four thousand dollars in closing costs can you believe that it's amazing or whatever yeah, but then these are just ideas that I haven't fleshed out. But the Zestimate screenshot of, hey, what do you think about this? You know, as if, and I'm trying to like make it less formal. Of, hey, Susan, I was think, you know, instead of that's something a friend would do is take a screenshot and send it to me. Like, hey, what do you think about this? And not, hey, this is high or hey, this is low. Just like, what do you think about this for a conversation? Market update. Ali, you said give them a CMA every single year. So I got that from you. I also got Shred Method from you. And then as applicable, inviting people to an event. Hey, I'm going to this. You you should totally come. I'd love to see you there. Rate changes, changes in the industry, blah, 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 blah. And that, yeah, that's it. That's my nurture. I'm done. (laughs) That's one hell of a nurture. Like it's, it's, it's so intense. I love it. But I like it. It's so hard to continue. I, I have found. Yeah, I I struggled with the automation portion because in the beginning I was doing cards and that requires unless I pay for the professional stuff that does it, you know, professionally with robots. Which is way more expensive. Yeah. And then, yes, it's so expensive. It's it's really, really good if you plan thousands and thousands like monthly, but it's very expensive. So the, the, but even if you start, you know, even if you just do it one time, at least you've done it because other agents aren't doing that. So totally. I love that you shared your exact freaking process step by step. And we have, you know what? We should probably reach out to these companies. Oh, for affiliates? I think even, like, for just what? like a, a sh- yeah, yeah. Actually, probably, yeah. If they, if they were able to <gasps> okay, give. No one reach out to them until we have affiliate links. <laughs> no. So I already asked Lolo. They don't do affiliates reminder media i haven't asked but they definitely would they were wheeling and dealing with me at tom ferry when i was like hey if i get you sending it to sign up on the spot what do i get like i was <laughs> the whole thing and they were like yeah you said it's right there <laughs> <laughs> no she was she literally was standing right there <laughs> and i was like hey you're gonna take this for the team aren't you <laughs> that's so funny yeah, no, but they will, they will play ball is what I'm saying. What else did I mention on here? The, I don't think Alana, the 13 year old will give like any sort of affiliate. I don't think that's there in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> <Alana's house. laughs> 
<laughs> Although I was actually thinking like during this alley, I was like, I wonder, I bet she would if you wanted to use her too. I mean, I don't know. I haven't used her yet. So I don't know how <laughs> responsible this 13 year old is going to be. But I do know that she is very money motivated and she has followed up with me like three times about when I'm going to start doing these cards, which I think is an amazing sign. And I'm sure she could handle more business. So if you don't care that they're mailed from Kentucky, which maybe you care, maybe you don't, maybe you could hire her too. We'll see. That's cool. <laughs> I love how right after this call, you're probably going to you're probably going to walk down to Alana's house, Alana's house, not Katie's, not Katie's. And be like yeah. Alana, if Allie signs up, can I get my first month free? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you haven't paid me at all yet, bitch. <laughs> That's true. No, I hired her for those bracelets. Remember the bracelets I brought to Tom Ferry? I gave her a hundred dollars. So cute. For those. I know, those are uh, those are such a hit. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, such a hit. Totally. But yeah, that's all. We did it, right? That's it. We did it. We did it. Thank you for sharing, uh, especially on your birthday. This is such a good plan. I'm excited. I'm I'm also very curious to see how many people end up of your clients end up doing the shred method or how they respond. We should do like follow ups of or updates on i sent out the zma and what have they said in response because yeah that'd be cool totally totally agree and i think we are getting a shred method person on here aren't we adam we no? sure are mm-hmm. yep. <gasps> Hell yeah. Love it. Okay. i think that's it be a bro and share this show We're going to hop right in. That's it. If you're not watching on YouTube, you just missed it. It was great. I have to pause real quick because there's a fucking cat on my desk. Hold on. Hold on. I see a tail. I do see a tail. <laughs> a few moments later. Yes, I could hear your cat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> she acts as if she's dying of hunger and i just fed her like she eats she pukes then she complains because she's hungry 